Hello everyone, thanks for taking a look at this video. Here yeah, we'll be sharing with you how to install or flash the ATV 9 frame way to your X96 ATV box. I've had this box for a while now, good box with a good hardware, but from the one of using it is default frame way, talking about the UI, it's boring and terrible for my liking. So I searched for a best custom frame way to flash to it and I found a smooth and stable frame way for this uh, particular TV box which I have been using for a couple of days now and it's far better than the default firmware of this box with added features which I will be showing you on how to install it to your x 96 Air TV box should you want to use it as well but uh, before we begin I would like to give full credit to the developer of this firmware So on the ATV firmware of this box you have a notification menu and a navigation bar with a decent a user interface that looks like that of the MI or Miku box so if you want to run this uh, custom firmware on your box, it's pretty simple and I'll show you how to do it. So first of all, you have to download the firmware file from below link and then move it to your SD card or your flash drive. But I have it here in the SD card already, so I'll be making use of the SD card. But after downloading the firmware, you don't have to extract it, just download and move it to your SD card as seen. So here now you have to move the the firmware, your downloaded firmware to your SD card or micro SD card. And after it has finished copying, you now insert the SD card to your TV box. From the app menu, you navigate your way to the update app itself, you select and then you select the firmware you want to flash and then you choose and select update and go ahead and update and then you allow the box to flash the firmware to it you just have to wait a couple of minutes for the flashing process to complete To boot to recovery mode, you need a match stick or a paper clip, and then you insert inside the AV port. You press and hold, and then you plug in your power cable, and you wait for some seconds for the box to boot to to recovery mode. Now, in recovery mode, after installing the frame weight to your box, you have to wipe catch partition as seen. Yeah, you go ahead and wipe it and then that's it, that's finished wiping. Then you just reboot back to the system to set things up. So here yeah, we have the new firmware up and loading from the boot screen. So you just have to wait a few more seconds for the first boot to Complete. Now it has finished booting to the screen as you can see. We have the ATV9 firmware running on the X96 TV box. The user interface here as earlier said looks decent and better than that of the stock firmware on the TV box. I particularly like the way it looks and from the settings you have extra settings that shows that the box is rooted and you also have system bars you have um, game settings looking at the user interface you can easily bring down the notification menu from here that's seen and yeah everything is all good here you can shut down the TV box from here and you can also switch to the Android Pie launcher. It comes with two launchers. You can either use this or you use the ATV9 launcher, which is very, very interesting and okay for me. So it depends on you now, guys. If you love this video, please click on the subscribe button. And if you have any question regarding uh, this uh, firmware, you can drop it via the comment section and I'll be glad to answer it. 
Thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked the video. Goodbye.